We have a, uh, a gathering of our leaders, staff, and uh, elders that meet every Sunday morning, and uh, and we've been doing this for ever since. In fact, it was it was a um, a meeting that was started before I ever came here, and so I just have kept it going. And this morning, I don't remember any time in the 12 years I've been here, over 12 years, where we've had anyone come into the meeting and give a testimony saying, I lost something and I found it, or it was restored to me. I don't ever remember that happening in 12 years. This morning we had three. Now, when, you have to understand the language of the Spirit. When you are leaning into God, that's a phrase I use, to say you're pressing into hearing God's voice, doing what he says to do, because you're anticipating his will unfolding before you. So I just call it leaning into God. When you're leaning into God, there's no wasted circumstances. When you're not, and you're waiting for him to break into your world to bring you a message, a lot of things are just silly. So whenever the Lord repeats himself like this three times, Anytime something is repeated like that three times, it is because it is a now word that God wants to release. And I'll tell you, I sat there this morning hearing these stories. One of our uh, uh, elders' wives had lost, uh, it was a retainer um, that keeps, uh, keep, keeps you, you wear it at night when you sleep, keeps your teeth from grinding, uh, just protects the jaw and the teeth. So she had one of these, cost 300 bucks. She um, went on a trip somewhere, lost it, and uh, is sitting at home, and she uh, was hoping to find it, She'd never find it, comes home. She's sitting at home, and this was, I believe it was several weeks ago she lost this uh, particular item. She uh, calls her dentist, sets up an appointment to make another one, and uh, she's sitting there thinking, Lord, I'd sure like to have that, uh, that thing back, because I hate to spend 300 bucks. Right in front of her eyes, this thing appears on shirts that are laid out in front of her. It just appears. Now, that's the coolest thing in the world right there. We have, we have friends in Weaverville that their child was saving money for a trip of some sort. I think it was a missions trip, but it may have been Disneyland or something. But anyway, he'd been saving money for quite a while. He had his wallet playing out in a field next to the house, lost the wallet. He was just bummed. And the family had searched and looked. They couldn't find it. They went all through the field. They couldn't find it. So they're sitting together in the evening, and they're praying and talking together. And one of them talks about that they would sure like to be able to find that wallet. Now this is, I know these people, all right? So I've already gone over the line with a retainer appearing on a shirt. But we're going to push the envelope every way we possibly can this morning. Because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So here they're sitting in their living room. In fact, they live up, live up in the Trinity Center, up by uh, Trinity Lake. And they're sitting in their living room. And out of nowhere, the wallet falls out of the air onto the living room floor in front of them. <laughs> is that amazing? Now listen, all I'm just prophesying over you. How many of you have ever suffered loss and you'd like a return. All right. All right, you qualify. All right, good. Bobby Connor, some of you have heard this story. Bobby Connor, one of our great prophetic friends, was given a little pocket knife from a friend of his, Bob Jones, who was also a dear friend of this house. And he lost it. And he was just really bummed one day. He lost this little knife, because it had a lot of sentimental value to it. And he was in a hotel room, because he spends his life in hotels too. He's in a hotel room, and this thing just came on him like, and he went, I want my knife back. <laughs> he just yelled it out in his hotel room, I want my knife back. The knife fell from the air onto his bed, right in the middle of the hotel room. So, one of our young ladies this week loses a very 
valuable ring to her, given to her by her sister. She lost it at work. She went to the owner's wife to mention she had lost it. And the owner's wife said to her, have you looked in the cheese? <laughs> now, just so that you understand how God works, he can talk through anyone at any time. Anytime. He can bring any kind of word out that he wants. And so he anoints this woman with a prophetic word, a word of knowledge. And she finds herself saying, have you looked in the cheese? And our gal says, no, <laughs> goes into the walk-in refrigerator, goes over to the cheese, and there's the ring. <laughs> so next time you're looking for something, look in the cheese. This is, this is a California cheese advertisement, actually. It's, our cows are happier. This podcast goes all over the world. And it's in the cheese. Now, when this stuff happens like this, you need to just activate your faith. You know, you don't have to strain and groan and do anything, but just let the stories rest on the tender hearts because the Lord wants to show himself strong on your behalf. Why? He spoke to uh, Cyrus, King Cyrus <coughs> prophesied of him before he was ever born and spoke this word in Isaiah 45 and he said, he gave this great word for him and he said, uh, I'm going to do these things for you so that you may know that it is I, the Lord God of Israel, who calls you by your name. I'm going to do this blessing stuff because I want you to make the connection that I am God of all of all and that I am the source of this in your life. Is this making any sense to you? So there are things that the Lord reveals, literally, just as you and I as parents love our children, love to give gifts to our kids, in the same way our Heavenly Father looks for and longs for opportunities to bring great blessing into, uh, into his kids' lives. All right.